you know, uh, the best part of last night is we pulled in on the vine went off at 12 and, and the seniors get us going with the fight song. And, you know, that felt good to, to sing that. So we were all singing and we were excited and they pulled up and as we were coming in the parking lot, I said, all right, get off this bus, we're going to go ring that bell. Because we haven't rang that bell since uh, October of 2011 because that was the last road win we won. It was at Coldwater. And so I said, we're going to ring it 34 times. And uh, there are kids getting off the bus, and I'm like, coaches are like, we'll get equipment. And so we're pulling the stuff off the buses, and the kids are going off to the field, and all of a sudden it starts ringing. And it just, it's just it sounded so great, too, because 34 rings, and they're shouting out each ring. And, and we were trying, my point was, you know, let's, let's let the community know what just had happened. And we got home pretty late, too. It was, it was 11.50, maybe almost quarter to 12, somewhere in there. So I said they won't mind anyways because they're going to like to see that we got the W. You know, we started out with uh, the receivers, and uh, I felt our receivers didn't block well uh, against Sport Essentials. So one of the things I told the coaches was no block, no rock. And um, I, they instituted in their technique drills, and, and I, we had some guys last night on the edge blocking and they were blocking to the whistle, and, and it was impressive. We had, you know, uh, Liam Adams lit up a kid on a block, just pancaked him. And we had Cor Baldwin do the same thing, and both plays resulted in touchdowns, and how you can't emphasize that when you do the right things, good things happen. And so the receivers, to start out, a uh, chance in the pocket. Uh, I know we, we protected him a little better last night, but he was stepping up, and he was using the stuff that he had worked on all week, techniques, and. And he was making plays, and, and it, it looked good. He looked, he looked fluid, and, and the throws were just, you know, like effortless, and he was putting them on people. Uh, our receivers made some good catches. Um, that was good, too, to see. Our line finally started to um, – Mern's still in the baby process, but baby steps. But our line started to um, make plays with our run blocking, and we were gashing them. Like we ran, we don't. We ran two plays last night, and we ran the one probably 90% of the time, and it was just like an inside dive. And Matt and JD Bowdish were getting big time yards on it. So I was good to see our offensive line actually set forward and move the ball. And we still got work there. There's some guys that missed some blocks, but overall we, we played better. And our defensive line, uh, I commented on film this morning when we watched it, was um, how we were establishing the line of scrimmage. They weren't really driving us back. We were, we were establishing the line of scrimmage, and we were playing. Now we got to work on staying outside and keeping contained because Niles did a pretty good job of getting outside. But you know, that's things we can fix. So overall, from uh, week one to week two, it was night and day. And I talked to JV and, and about bringing some kids up, and I told him I want opportunities to see other kids step up for the JV. And so we brought up Tristan Stewart, we brought up Jake Stevens, and we brought up uh, Liam Adams. And this was a group I was looking at in preseason. Then I made a decision, you know, I'm not going to move anybody up. And then we needed Tyler Kane, And so we brought him up before game one. And then with this week, with the way the schedule was for the underclassmen, uh, I wanted to see him. And so I brought all three of them up. And I, I talked to him on Wednesday. And I said, listen, you're all starting. And a couple of them were nervous. You know, it's like just big time. I'm like, I'm not, we're not coming off the pine here. We're, we're throwing you into the wolves right now. And, and, you know, they, they did what they needed to do. They, they found their mechanism to relieve their stress and anxiety, and, and they started to play football. And all three of them had really good games. And so now I've got a difficult decision now, uh, sitting down and evaluate, really evaluating the film and say, okay, do these kids stay up because they can help us? Or, you know, do I say, you know what, uh, we have guys that can still play at, that are juniors and seniors, and, and then maybe send them down. So. Uh, the decision I got to make, I'm gonna make it tonight, most likely, and uh, I'm gonna let those guys know, hey, this is where we're gonna stand, so that Monday um, I can pass out either orange jerseys in front of the whole team, or an entire team, or what I'll do is I'll just, uh, you know, say, hey, thanks for playing, and and uh, you're back down. So we'll see. But yeah, those guys themselves, they play, really played well. You know, it, it was nice to see him back. You know, he, he's got a high motor, so. Uh, when, it, when it comes to getting it, he wants the ball. And I noticed that when we, we were in uh, Western 7-on-7 seven seven in June. You know, I told guys, listen, you're playing one or the other spot right now. And he's like, I want to play offense, give me the ball. And so he, he's just a natural, uh, he's a natural ability out there. And he had made some plays last night. And, but he couldn't do it without his teammates because they, they had some tremendous blocks. 
But uh, it was nice having him back because he gives us that little bit of a speed aspect that we, uh, we lack in. Um, he's quick enough where he can make plays and he can make up ground with his speed. Um, there are some things he still, he was a little rusty, you could tell. I mean, not playing in, uh, you know, three weeks now and not getting a ton of reps in practice. This week he had more than he had in the previous two. He was kind of rusty and there's still some things we got to work on, just some small things, you know. Um, but yeah, I was, I was happy with his performance. Uh, my hope is that he's, he wasn't satisfied with everything and that he, he looks at this week and says, I'm going to get better. And you know, that message from Coach Northrop this morning was the same thing. It's, we can be satisfied or we can stay hungry and, and get better.